Hello team, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, going through the big overview of the ETFs. Biotech starting to pick up a little bit again. That's good to see. Broke through the space right here. Lifting up. We'll see if this continues. What does this tell us? It tells us that biotech's improving. We can look at some biotech stocks. Next stock on the list, cloud computing. Picking up a little bit, but still lagging. Notice that it rallied on decreasing volume. There's no power in cloud computing. Electric vehicles. Picking up a little bit, um, the vast majority of them aren't doing much, but, you know, Tesla's hanging in here. But this is not a really powerful group at this point in time. Dow Jones Internet, it's just rallying up to the 50-day on decreasing volume. There's no, not a lot of power in that. IBD 50 is lagging, not a lot of power there. Gold miners lagging, closed down Friday, not a lot of power there. Gold lagging, not a lot of power there. I'm going to stop for a minute and just go back here and say, what does this tell you? Avoid gold stocks. Stay away. It's that simple. Don't argue with it. You'll Arguing is like an ego game, like, oh, it's going to do this. Just get in line with what it is doing. That will help you in all respects. Here's another biotech ETF picking up a little bit, just like BPH. Hey, what is that? Or BBH. What does it tell us? Maybe look at some biotech stocks. Online retail, not a lot of power here. You've got to leave it alone. Oil and gas, look at this. This was really strong. We were heavy in oil and gas and made good money in them. I'll show you a couple more in a little bit. But look at it now. What is with time when it was breaking down on increasing volume here? It's saying, watch this. I'll, I'll do a lesson for you. Goes up. Everything's great. Gaps up, reverses down. Okay, down a little bit more on volume. Loses the ADMA on a pickup in volume. Gaps down. What, is these, what are these bars telling you combined with volume? Hey, you might want to get lighter on me. You might want to sell some into strength. Don't get sloppy with it. Don't get sloppy with it. Don't get sloppy with it. And look at this. We watch this. This is why I look at the ETFs. It helps guide us, make better decisions. North American technology, going sideways, picking up a little bit, has a higher low. Maybe it'll start to pick up some. That's a plus. Something to remember, technology. Medicine picking up a little bit, it's okay, it's all right. Mid-cap, not a lot of power there. Home construction, yeah, not a lot of power there. S&P growth, picking up a little bit, but not a lot of real power there. Small cap, lagging, not a lot of power. Global jet jets, nah, there's no power there. Regional banking, there's no power there, leave it alone. Mid-cap, really lagging, leave it alone. Oil services, really lagging. By the way, did we look at another energy ETF that was not doing so well? Yes, we did. And here's another one. Further confirmation. Stay away from energy. Just stay away. Oil, stay away from energy. And it was telling you a while ago. We had a lot of energy stocks and did really well with them. We're out of all of them. Thank heaven. Made good money and gone. By the way, key in on daily charts. Don't need to mess with 15-minute or 10-minute charts. Online retail, it's lagging. Be careful with that. Infrastructure, there's no power here. Pharmaceuticals, not a lot of power here, folks. Leave it alone. This is the negative. This is the inverse of QLD, okay? This goes up in price when the NASDAQ is falling, okay? It's the inverse. Eh, nothing really great there. It's actually telling you the NASDAQ strengthened. Here's QLD. This had a higher low setup. This low was higher than this low. We were buying in here. And we've locked some profits in, and we're in great shape. See this little shelf right here? See that base? There's a gift for you. Takes that out on good volume. Guess what? We'll buy more. There you go. QQQ, similar situation. I like QLD better. I love the leverage. Retail, it's pretty ugly here, below the moving averages. Kind of leave it alone. This is the inverse ETF. It's dropping, telling the market's okay. Cloud computing, this is lagging. This was really strong. You see this chart here? This is no good. Has it ever been good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were involved with cloud computing, but right now, not so good. Continue onward. We're about done, by the way. Silver. In one second, it says stay away from silver stocks. That's it. Do you know how powerful that is to know that? Most people don't know that. They muddle around. We systematize. It's really a helpful situation. Steel, lagging. Stay away from steel. Semiconductors, really lagging. Nothing to do with it. Spiders picking up a little bit. Higher low setup. See this? 
this low is higher than this low. Possible turn in the, of events in the trend. We'll watch and see. Same thing's true with SSO, but we're in QLD, it's stronger. Solar starting to pick up a little bit. Be nice to see it push through the 200 day. Solar stocks, okay, something to look into. Small cap lagging, not a lot to do with it. Uranium, leave it alone. Oil, another oil ETF. What's it been saying? Stay away from energy. It's been saying that for a while. That's why we're at, we've been out of them for a while. Aerospace and defense, and by, you say for a while, for weeks. Nothing going on here with aerospace and defense. Biotechnology, another biotechnology ETF, pick it up. See this XBI? Watch this, there's XBI, there's BBH. Oh, it's picking up a little bit. See how you connect the dots? You build a case. There's a breakout right here. I was telling you, hey, you could buy this or you can buy some, and I'm not saying buy it up here, okay? But I'm saying when it was basing here, you could have looked and said, oh, this warm in a company handle. Maybe I should look at some biotechnology, leaching biotechnology stocks. There you go. Continue onward. Home builders lagging, stay away. Energy, another, excuse me, I'm sorry, jumped the gun. Materials lagging, leave it alone. Energy lagging, leave it alone. Financials lagging, leave them alone. Industrials lagging, leave them alone. Technology picking up a little bit, does have a higher low. And we know a couple of the big stocks that are moving in this group, okay? We're involved with a couple of them. It's okay, Amazon, Google, but not, you know, we'll watch and see what it does have a higher low. Consumer staples slowly turn the corner, but it's really been lagging. Be careful with that. Utilities, there's really nothing to do with utilities. Healthcare is picking up to the 200 day. Um, it'd be nice to see it push through the 200 day, but not a lot of power there. Consumer discretionary is a higher low, but nothing real popular, powerful there. Metals and mining, there's nothing here. Leave it alone. It was really good for a while. Look at this. Look at that. Were we involved, involved in metal stocks through this? I mean, folks, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I'll make it a little bit bigger. Look at this. So, gosh, I guess it would start to look Were we involved in metals? I'm like, yeah. How about now? No, we're not. You got to know when everybody focuses on good buying. You also need to have sound, good selling rules and use them. That will help you. Oh, look at this. Another oil and gas or energy ETF. ILB, um, I think that's three for three that have been steadily trending down. That's why we've not been in energy. We sold and locked in the money. I'm telling us retail lagging, nothing to do with it. Software picking up a little out of it, but not a lot of power right there. So now let's go in and take a look at, ready? The max list stocks. Here's Apple, by the way, I have to share this with you. I'm making this video on Saturday. It was, I'm honored that I was able to participate in the Trader Lion webinar. And I was the first speaker. And again, I was honored that they asked me and I hope you're able, you watched it or that you're able to watch the video. I tried to really help. No hype, nothing strange. Everything simple, everything conceptually correct. That's what we're after. So again, Apple, higher or low, big max of stocks, that's a plus to see. Amazon, higher low. This is lower, higher than this low. And we own this right here. And it's working. Have sold some into strength and locked in some money. Not huge, but it's money. Alibaba started to go across these tops, stalled or flat. But I will tell you, if this starts to go, we'll buy it. One of the things we love, and I talked about this on the webinar, price is good above the line and bad below. It helps us keep losses very small, Big picture trends pay. Baidu, see the tops across here? Look at that. What do we want to see? Push through that white line? That could be a buy. Max list stock. China, China's improving. Continue onwards. Google, higher low. This low is higher than this low. It was a reversal of a trend. Look at all the lower lows all the way down here. Okay. Now you can say, whoa, Pat, I'm catching you on a lie. This was a higher low. This low is higher than this low. Yes, and we did this one too. Okay? Yes, we did. Falls, another higher low. Volume pickup, and we're in it. I'll make this a little bigger for you. There you go, and it's working. Microsoft had a higher low. We didn't do it because we were wrapped up in quite a few others, but you can see it. Had lower lows all the way down right here. So we'll see. Netflix, this is nothing. Just nothing. Nothing to do with it, leave it alone. Nvidia has lower lows. Nothing to do with it. Now, you want to see something neat? We talk about the higher lows. 
this low was higher than this low. Watch this. See that? That was a good run, folks. That was a huge run. Also leads to another very important point. A lot of people get negative on the market, say there's nothing going on, I quit, you know, I'm not going to do anything. You miss, you can miss some huge opportunities. I mean, I, this is, I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. See what I'm talking about? That's good money. That's good money. The spoils go to the prepared. It's a business and we run it like one and we don't get negative. We'll get cautious and not do anything. But as far as quitting, no. You know why? Because all of a sudden you miss a couple hundred points with no work. Look at this can make this can make a chunk of your year. Oh, it's, well, it's only 200 points. 200 points in four days? That's why it was on the key list. That's why VIPs own it. Going back, NVIDIA, nothing. Leave it alone. Tesla, what do you see here? Higher low. This low is higher than this low. This was a double bottom here with not real low power. But you know what? See this right here? We did this. We did this. And it works. It works. Where's it going to go? I don't know. By the way, I need to do something here. Refresh that. There we go. Now we got a better chart. Look at that. That's nice. That's really nice. It works. Okay. There we go. Continue onward. Last one. Twitter. It's just going sideways. We know there's news related to it. When, when there's news on things like this, we just leave it alone. Anyway, that's the overview of the max list. You can see the power in the tactics. Clean and simple base breakouts are huge. Okay. Flat base breakouts are huge. All right. Clean and simple, higher low setups can make you money. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.